thank you for doing this interview, Pope Francis. Oh, it's my pleasure, Michael. Although, frankly, you don't really look like the Pope. Well, this is my nighttime disguise. I like to go out anonymously in the evening and uh, feed the poor, help the sick. Protect the young? Excuse me? Not yet. So, this is all really amazing. The cover of Rolling Stone magazine, a moral revolution unfolding before our very eyes, and within the Catholic Church, no less. Well, Michael, the Church is moving into the 21st century. We're even starting our own telecom for our parishioners. Check it out. Nice. Do you smell sulfur? No. Well, you know, I told you, Michael, that uh, religions can change, and quickly, if need be. Now I'm going to have to revise my chapter on religion in my book, because I argued that religions are very slow to change, and here you are saying that atheists get to go to heaven, and, and that homosexuals shouldn't be judged. It's a new day, Michael, as you saw in Rolling Stone. Great. So let, let's start with homosexuality, because I'm thinking with all the fresh insight and, and compassion you've brought to the papacy, the church is going to recognize gay marriage soon. What are the odds of that happening? I'm seeing a snowball in hell. I, I'm sorry? You know, Michael, the church is very big on marriage. It's a sacrament. Yes. But we're also very big on things like tradition and books like Leviticus, which say... Yeah, yeah, abomination, blah, blah, blah. That is so Old Testament, old school. You're hip. You're what's happening. I, I am hip and happening. But, you know, a lot of what is happening... Uh, in the church today is still happening in the ninth century. Oh, come on. You're not going to proclaim like John Paul II did about that intrinsic evil of the homosexual condition, are you? Oh, no, no, no. Of course not, Michael. Um, however deeply we might agree with that sentiment, um, we are completely keeping that on the down low. Or Oh, I should have said DL. I should have said DL, huh? That would have been much more hip and happening. So, no gay marriage? No. Well, what about priests finally being able to marry? I mean, that would solve a lot of the problems you've been having lately. Well, you know, Michael, we see our priests as being married to the church. And let me tell you something. The church can be an even bigger nag than the ladies. <laughs> Am I right? Are you? Are we? So, no marriage for priests? No. How about women? You've been portrayed as being very liberal when it comes to women's issues. Any chance of women priests anytime soon? Um, hmm. Uh, I, you know... Women priests are not. No. What about abortion? Why not let women have complete control of their reproductive rights? No. Well, okay, how about birth control? I mean, it's not like there's a shortage of people in the world, and you're like the McDonald's of religion, over a billion people served. So why not just tell Catholic women that what they're already doing is okay? No. How about opening up the archives from, oh, I don't know, say 1939 to 1945 to see what the church's involvement was with the Nazis? No. How about exorcisms? Can we at least... Ah, okay. Now you're talking because I just recently recognized the efficacy of, of exorcism under canon law. Oh, you're kidding. I'm not, Michael. And that is change you can believe in. That's not change. That's doubling down on crazy. Haven't you heard of psychiatry and mental illness? Well, Hollywood's happy about it. What can I say? I mean, I, th I think you're going to see a lot more movies about demon possession. Oh, great. So what is it that the Catholic Church is going to change? Ah, okay, I'm glad you asked. First of all, no more fancy red slippers for me. Okay, we're going to let Dorothy keep those. Second, um, when was the last time you saw me sitting on any kind of throne of gold? That's not happening anymore either. Third, no more fancy mansions with the pools for the parish priest. I'm cracking down on that. And finally, we have a figurehead at the top of the Catholic Church who doesn't like the Paul Ryan budget. That's a lot of change. That's it? You can't do everything all at once, Michael. Real change takes time. Well, that's all fine and good, but it sounds to me like the church still has a lot of demons that need exercising. Oh, okay, we have someone here who can do that. Bobby? Bobby? Somebody get Jindal. Jindal, he's, I'm telling you, the power of Jindal, I think you're going to find it very compelling.